Then we have the thoracic diaphragm, which is in here. And the thoracic diaphragm is a double dome. You can also look at it as a triple dome if you look at the central tendon. And off of the central tendon, there are two long pieces that go all the way to the front of the coccyx on top of the ligament. They're called the crura. So, um, again, this is a review and an introduction both. So that when we feel the diameter of the breathing that Rachel so beautifully presented today, that this widening here and condensing in the, this plane, if you have a, a dome and you widen it, it's going to lower. It doesn't flatten, it's just lowering the dome. So when we inhale, you can do this with me, I don't have to have a be the only one that's fun here. That you're going to lower the dome. And at the same time, the crewer are going to anchor down to the front of the tip of your coccyx these two projections. And the two crura have both a connection down the same side. They also cross over and go down the opposite side. So the left crura has an extension down the left side. It also has an extension blending with the right side going down the right side. And the right side has a, a part going down the left side. And that's happening here at about T12. It's a little bit higher. The diaphragm comes up very high. But as it starts to come into the spine, it's T12. So when you're doing these inhalations, feeling the one side and then feeling the opposite side, you're moving through the crura, among other things because the pelvic diaphragm is another bowl, but it's in the opposite dome. It's going this way, where the thoracic diaphragm is a double dome going this way. So we say a dome and a bowl. The circumference of the pelvic diaphragm As it's expanding, it's pulling the diaphragm up. In other words, if this is a thoracic diaphragm, as it expands, it's going to pull it down on the inhale, and, we, and it's going to go up on the, when it condenses. But the pelvic diaphragm is just the opposite. The same principle is that as it expands, it's going to pull the dome up on the inhale, and then it's going to release down on the exhale. And one of the, the dilemmas that I've seen is people pushing down on the diaphragm on inhale, which is um, ultimately can cause problems in the organs. It would be like pushing the diaphragm here down on the, in I mean, pulling it up on the inhale. Mm -hmm instead of that these diaphragms are coming together on the inhale, and this is the elixir here. This is where the mixing of the prana or the chi is happening. So that when we breathe, there's this cauldron here, and then we exhale. And that's going to give support to the low back. Where if we go, up here and down there, we're going to lose the support of the low back. If we go on the inhale in the direction of the dome, we're losing, we're weakening the back. Play with that principle.